Good morning. For those of you who may not know me, as Barb introduced me, my name is Christopher Keene. I'm an officer with the East Enfield Township Police Department. Regardless of how I look, I assure you I'm old enough to be a police officer. In fact, I have been since 2012. Throughout the years, I've had many opportunities to partake in various enforcement details, ranging from active DUI enforcement, public safety education, and of course, aggressive driving enforcement, including the Pennsylvania Aggressive Driving Enforcement and Education Project, or PAA Deep for short. PAA Deep is a statewide initiative that utilizes multiple factors, such as crash data, to identify various roadways and segments therein with elevated incidents of aggressive driving. High visibility target enforcement, such as today's Heat on 30 project, public awareness campaigns, and educational trainings are all components of PAA Deep, which serve to reduce the number of aggressive driving, crashes, and incidents within the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Within the last 15 years, PennDOT has recorded a significant decrease in crashes involving injuries and fatalities where speeding is believed to be a factor. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA, it estimates that nearly 35% of crashes and traffic complaints are related to aggressive driving practices each year. Today's Heat on 30 event is a great example of various agencies working collectively to accomplish the same goal, to decrease the overall number of incidences of aggressive driving and crashes while educating drivers on the importances of safe driving practices. It should be noted that since 2006, PennDOT and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration have worked closely together to address this problem. To date, these agencies have observed a decrease in aggressive driving incidents when enforcement efforts are increased on various highways, such as Route 30 today. Route 30 is a limited access, four lane divided highway with a posted speed limit of 55 miles an hour. On a daily basis, as you can see today, Route 30 serves as a major artery to a substantial amount of commuter as well as commercial motor vehicle traffic. As a result, Route 30 contributes to a high number of crashes as well as traffic complaints involving complaints of erratic, careless, or reckless driving. It is in my personal and professional opinion that in order to successfully reduce the number of incidents on Route 30, we at the East Hemfield Township Police Department must work collectively with agencies such as the Pennsylvania State Police, the Center for Traffic Safety, PennDOT, and NHTSA, as this is a task that cannot be handled single-handedly. In recent years, the East Hempfield Township Police Department has, simulated, has participated in similar details such as today, based on a variety of contributing factors that were collected by our department. This data includes data from crashes, citations, as well as traffic complaints that are received on a daily basis. A previously completed analysis showed the 6.2 decrease, a 6.2% decrease in crashes as well as a 55% decrease in traffic complaints during the selected times of enforcement. The correlation between the increased enforcement efforts and decreased number of incidences can be contributed mainly to these special enforcement efforts as well as those who continue to proactively engage in safe driving practices. And just this year alone, members of the East Hempfield Township Police Department have engaged in various proactive measures on Route 30, which have contributed greatly to the issuance of multiple citations for infractions such as speeding and careless driving, and leading to arrests for a variety of criminal charges. Through personal experiences, I have encountered many motorists who have expressed concern about their safety on Route 30, as well as their appreciation for the enforcement efforts that continue to be held every day. And of course, I've also held or heard the negative remarks. However, these positive interactions are clear examples that highlight the importance of these initiatives. It should be of no surprise to hear that speeding and other offenses are among the leading factors of crashes and deaths on Pennsylvania highways each year. Most responsible drivers want something to be done to reduce the speeding and unsafe driving. So please join me, as well as the officers from over 40 municipal departments, the Pennsylvania State Police, and the representatives that are here today from the Center for Traffic Safety, PennDOT, and NHTSA to make this roadway, in addition to more than 70 others, a safe passage for not only yourself, but those you share the roadways with. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Barbara Zortman, Trooper Ryan Lawrence, and all the other individuals that are here today assisting in our endeavor to make this roadway and many others safety, safer. Thank you.